Here are the Power of the Sun Ace. Welcome to another GT4 video. Uh, it's gonna be GT4 Arcade. Uh, before I get started, be sure to watch the whole video, burn up the like button, just try that subscribe button, see through the notification bell, leave a good comment down below, follow me on Twitter, the Great Sun Ace. Check out all my other YouTube videos. Uh, uh, I have playlists. Check out Blue Vibe Austin and some other YouTube links in the description as always. If you guys are new to this channel, be sure to have anything to say. Helps out a lot. I always appreciate the support and feedback. We have finally returned to GT4 Arcade. It has been too long since I last did one. It's been a couple months. We are finishing the final the final section. Original circuits. We're starting the final section. And our first race is going to be El Capitan and High Speed Ring. And look at all the tracks that we've got. Yeah, I know. The, the, these, these two. The test course. We'll do those two together because beginner course is madly short and I'm going to put a lot of laps on it. So El Capitan and High Speed Ring are at first. So we need a car. Go with Jaguar. Oh yeah, totally. No, not that. Um, okay, not Jaguar. Um, Long Lotus. I guess I could give this a Spree V8 a try. Uh, this car looks so small. Oh, I really like that blue. Uh, difficulty 5, sports mediums. Here we go. El Capitan. I don't remember how many laps I had set for this. Um, so we'll find out. So the second race will be short, although well, it won't be nearly as long as this first race, but I need to check and see how many laps I have. Okay, we got a bunch of British cars. Oh, that's, that's the wrong thing. I think we're going to pull three laps onto this. The wrong one. Arcade. Okay. So we're good. Three laps. Since this is El Capitan, this actually should be reasonably easy because El Capitan is a very easy course to win on. I just realized that all these cars are faster than me. But is that going to stop me from trying to win? Heck no. A spec points will be rather high. 109. Goodness, no wheel spin off the start. Only not European cars, the Viper. This car has a decent amount of grip. that turbo. Have to be really careful up here. Turismo mode, this track is really easy to win on, because the AI is really slow. A 
I'll probably do four laps for high speed ring. Kind of want to make it equal to this race. That one I hope I can win on. And I have pulled away. Yay. doing a poll on Twitter about what skin color people prefer Daisy with. I don't put dark. I don't like dark color. I prefer her white skin over her dark skin. Well, then again, most people who live in America are tan, so... And some other countries. Some are dark, some are really, really, really white. Very white, and some are tan, naturally tan. this series when it's over. I think we're going to make beginner course really long to fit the ending of this series. Now obviously I don't remember what car I've done in every race. That would take me forever to go back and look, but... I want to make it special because, yeah, this series is getting close to being done. This is These are the last 13 races of this series and possibly only seven more parts left to go. I'll make the final part long. I'll make it special. Hopefully I can win with this car at high speed ring. I don't feel confident enough though. Something tells me that I should switch the car. Just as long as I don't get that BTR rough, I'm good. I think I could beat everyone else. Five update. I will not be posting a video for that for a while. I still have that one to upload, but it won't be too bad. Uh, there is a big, big, big addition coming. I am currently working on it. Only on, well, almost finished with part three of 28. It's a very, very large build. The first of two big builds that I have done is a ginormous Toon Link statue. Now, you will have to wait until that. I will actually only just put that statue and this huge, huge, huge build that I have right now. Just, just those two. I plan on putting in a snow globe after I am finished with this build. Or maybe if I'm like halfway done with all the video with the videos, then I can just take a break from it completely and go build a snow globe and then come back a couple days after and then start working on it again. 
So that was one race done. So now we're moving on to race number two. Uh, we're gonna get in the same car. Uh, that's our car. There we go. There we go. Level five, sports mediums, and all that. I'm expecting different cars, and I'm expecting this race to be not winnable. Just saying. High speed ring is meant for speed. This car, not very good in speed. Okay. Um, we got three TVRs. The VA Vantage, we says. I'm thinking the Viper is probably going to be a big threat in this race. Oh, yeah. I'm going to change it to four laps. This track does not take very long to get around. It takes only a little over a minute. So we're going to want four laps. So, yeah. Four lap race. Uh, high speed ring. I don't think this will end well, but we'll just have to see. God, that VA Vantage race like a freaking tank. Uh, CA spec points. Oh, no. It's more. 111. Start slip streaming immediately. So we'll see how this goes. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, hit the wall. And I think this car is only a five speed, so that doesn't help. Okay, I got past the tank. I think the reason why the points were where they are, where they're at, is because of that Griffith. I mean, Toscan, and he's off the track. Oh, and so is the Griffith. We got all three TVRs here except the speed speed 12 and the speed 6. The Cerebera speed 6. mainly because the fact that all I have left is the 24 hour race in the Formula Jitsu World Championship. Which that championship will be next week. Oh. God rest my soul. I hope I do good. Always get nervous when I do it because I never know if I'm going to lose or not. Because those Formula GT cars are so lightweight. It's easy to spin them out. Compared to most other cars in this game. I am way ahead. Jeez. Oh, and there's the Viper in second. I knew he would get to second. But let's see what he can do. Oh, I think it went down. 
my two tens. It's that turn right there where I have them. Oh yeah, I am gone. Yeah, I think I've increased my lead. seconds. It's that one turn after the, it's the last S turn is where I get the advantage. I gotta say, this car did a lot better than what I thought. because they go off track. Yep, there goes a car off the track. And final turn. To the finish. And bam. 111. Griffith finished last. Oh no way, no, the Viper's gonna get fourth. It's this guy Edge by the Tamora. And there you have it, at least everyone finished, I think. Remember the last race, not everyone finished. So that was El Capitan and High Speed Ring. It went a lot better than what I thought. I thought that Viper would have done at least a little bit better than fourth. He was in second for a good majority of the race, and he just gave it all up at the end. So, with that, that will do it for this part of GT4 Arcade. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to burn up that like button, to share that subscribe button, speak through that notification bell, leave a comment down below, follow me on Twitter, like knees, check out my other YouTube videos, I have playlists. Check out Blue Bible City and Sonic Central. They're YouTube links in the description as always. And if you guys are new to this channel, we should have anything else to say. It helps out a lot. I always appreciate the support and feedback. And by the way, Grand Turismo 7 comes out in exactly two months. And it will be featuring tracks like Trial Mountain, High Speed Ring, and Deep Forest. Those three tracks are returning. But are all different. If I get the game, I'll do videos. You just have to wait. Um, but yeah, also purple Tuscan Speed 6. Well then. Anyway, with that, this is a great thing. Catch you guys soon.